evening, we're going to go through installation of Java and how to also configure Java uh, on your Java homes in using the advanced settings. So yeah, let's go through this together. So I'm going to go through the slides to give you the presentation on how to install Java. Then also after that, we set up, uh, we go to the workshop so we can actually, I will show you how to do that using my system, one minute. So the first thing is, like Java is, yeah, you go to, for, for you to download Java, you need to go to Oracle website. So Java is, is an Oracle product. So you go to the, this particular location that I've already put in there. So when you get to that location, you click on download. So when you click on download, you click on accept license agreement. So after you click on that to accept the license, you would be able to download. So depending on the computer you are using, whether you are on Linux, Mac, or Windows, you need to select the appropriate um, file. So in my case, I'm using Windows, so I'm going to use the exe file. So when I do that, I have this particular screen from, from here, so I can click on next to after I download it and click on the Excel file, I can just click on the next icon, then specify the location. And also I said, when you are doing that, remember this particular location because you're going to use it when you are configuring your Java homes because this is where Java lives. Basically, you need to tell the computer that my Java is stored in this particular home. So when you type Java on your command prompt anywhere, it can be able to locate where Java is stored on your system. That's the point of having this. So you need to uh, make sure you note that particular location. And then, yeah, off we go. You just install everything and that's it finished. So the next point now, like I said, is configuring your variable environment. So what you need to do is click on the search um, button and then now just type advanced system settings then you would see this particular um, control or buttons that you can click on so which takes you to the control panel then sometimes your this part when this particular window appears the system properties window you might not be in the advanced tab, you click on the advanced tab. So when you click on the advanced tab, then you click on environment variables, and then that takes you to the screen. So when you get to this particular screen, you will see the, your, all your environment variables listed. So you can click on the new in the system variables. So there's difference between your user variables and also your system variables. System variables are um, available to any uh, user of that computer, but your system, your user variable is only applicable to that particular user that logged in into your system. So for other users on that system to use your uh, path or your Java home, you need to um, put your um, Java homes or, or even your path also in the system variable. So you click on the new button, and so that displays your new user variable for you, and then you can put what we are seeing right now. So your variable name is gonna be Java Ohms, everything in capital letter, and put underscore to separate the Java and the home. Then also, like I said, this particular location is from my installations where I actually installed Java. Bear in mind, there's no backslash at the end of it. So even though this one's got the backslash, I did not put backslash because that is going to come when we are installing or doing, doing the path. So you need to beware that I don't put 
on the backslash and you don't put bin in there because when you go into different sites you will see them putting slash bin or something like that or you need to be consistent with what you are using because you get confused in the later part of this um, configuration so you need to be consistent so i would just propose that you don't put the slash and the bin so use this exactly as it is right here so the next path now is to configure your java home so you you've got that here right now that's the first one that we've done so the next part is your is to do your path so update your path so to update your path what you need to do you open your path so when you open your path you double click and edit I can now I will tell you in this instance you would if it's depending on the type of windows that you are using actually for so all that window you'll be able to edit it as a as a different user variables in other part of windows you will see it being concatenated together as one or everything together so you need to append your path to the last to the one that is already in in your in, in your path before so you don't need to replace you just need to append the path so it's this very very important so to know so right now in my own case i've got a lot of things in the in the path so for right now i'm going to show you i've already cleaned that up so for this particular for the purpose of this presentation but if you have lots of things like myself right now, like I'm saying, so you just need to append it to the last one. So what you need to do, you go to the last um, um, system, variable, um, system variable that you've got. So you need to just append your Java home um, with percentage and then slash bin. That's what you need to do. You just need to append it to the last path. And also, I must also say, that if the last system variable that you have is not closed with a semicolon, you need to put a semicolon there because every of these variables needs to be closed with a semicolon. So you need to put a semicolon at the end and then also as a good practice also close your own also with a semicolon. So that, that is everything right now. So the first thing is that you go to this particular site. So I'm going to copy the site. So I'm, I'm going to send that site to in the chat. So then you click on download. I think that's the wrong one. Okay. So this is what I won the 12th, yeah. So then you click on accept. Then you click on. So that is case. Oh, okay, sorry. I'll start that again. I think my screen is paused. Okay. All right. So to install Java, you need to go to Oracle website. Like I said, Oracle um, Java is now Oracle products. So you go to that location. Then you click on download. Then you click on asset lenses. Then you click on the right one i'm using windows so i'll click on window exe so then i'll save it at this location so that is been stored when it's fully downloaded i would open it one minute left
yeah when that is downloaded you click on the file to open and you you might see this anyways is installed so you click on yes to install your screen might be different from what you get right now because i've already got it installed but maybe for the sake of the um, the training i will say yeah reinstall anyway so but if you haven't got java installed before you you will not see the screen i'll say okay it's reinstall anyway that would start the installation so the next you have this window and then you click on next and this is the location i would copy this location and open notepad i put it in the notepad because i need to use it later so i click on ok then I click on next to start my installation. So the next point is now for you to yeah, close because it's, as you can see, Java SE development kit 12.01 has been successfully installed. I can say close. So that is your Java oh, software kit installed successfully so the next part is to do your environment variable to do your environment variable you have this type here to search so i will just type advanced as you can see this is the button that you need to click on but you can as well continue typing advanced search advanced system setting but it does you filter everything out for you but at this time i know what to click on i can click on that and that should bring the next button that should take me to this particular okay so now i've got one minute So like I said, one thing that you need to do is that sometimes your uh, system setting might not be on the advanced tab. So you will need to change to advanced tab. So once you click on the advanced tab, you click on environment variables. So now you have your environment variables window displayed. Then the next one to do is to create your Java home, All right? So you click on new and you type your Java, I'll use it. So, and that's going to be my variable name and my variable value, I would just go to the notepad when I pull and I copy okay and I'll paste that so and I said you need to remove the last backslash and then you click on OK and the next path is the next thing that you need to do is to edit your path so as you can see before we go i need to confirm my java home is is there as you can see so it was not there before now it's there right now so then i now need to edit my path and then i can click on new and then i say 
percentage Java room percentage then slash pin pin okay So that is what you have. So if you this particular screen did not appear to you, you might have a situation that it doesn't appear. It appears like a normal text field. So what you need to do is just append Java uh, percentage, Java own percentage slash bin to the end. As you can see, it's now at the end of my path. And you click on OK. That's what you need to do. And you click on OK. And now to show that your Java has been set up correctly, you type, you go to um, the search, you type CMD, and that brings the command prompt for you. And you can say Java, then version. So I've got that setup. So that's my Java already set up. So 